What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 5 and today we'll be going to talk about how to delete elastic search in this in bulk using python so uh, when i say bulk definitely uh, uh, we are going to uh, read it from some sort of a input file so maybe i can uh, write it here delete elastic search in this in bulk uh, using python and and here i can name it as from input file so now it makes sense that uh, there will be some sort of input file and input file is going to contain all the index names and we'll be going to read that file one by one like one row one by one uh, and after that we'll be going to delete that this is going to be a simple python uh, like thing but again uh, whatever uh, like expertise we are already having with python we are going to uh, like apply all those things on uh, elastic search so that it will be like easier for all the admins or all the devops professional to make their life easy on their day-to-day -day job or for their client okay so that is our objective so if i'm not wrong in the last tutorial which was tutorial 4 we have already discussed how to delete elastic search index by searching uh, some uh, specific pattern for example uh, we did it like uh, your index name starts with october and after that you just added some sort of sequential number like one two three four five six so now your one now you, your job is to delete something specifically which starts with october so we, we, we already achieved that and in this tutorial we're going to see how to delete the index using some sort of input file okay so that is the main objective so without uh, doing a further delay let me just uh, run through the slide again this is going to be a usual like theoretical part like elastic search and uh, important use cases so you guys can refer like more information uh, uh, something related to this sort of things from the elastic search official documentation again i have copy pasted this thing from the official documentation as well and i'll highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check their link uh, whenever you get some time because this is always a good practice and next thing again i still uh, keeping this slide over here because though the tutorial is not related to installation which is already done in the tutorial number one but again i'm getting so many requests my intro installation is not working so guys and uh, not only installation is working uh, like 50 percent comments are actually coming for how to install uh, so installation steps are very simple let me just go ahead with the uh, uh, like brief explanation of this thing again just uh, open this to url and from that url you can download the kibana elastic search and then you have to unzip these two folders sorry these two files you will get two folders and from that respective folder go to the bin folder from the bin folder you have to just run the executable for elastic search it will be elastic search with the name maybe if you are on um, windows then it will be probably dot batch or dot cmd if you are on linux it will be a dot sh file okay and once that is run you will get some sort of uh, like message on your uh, command from that uh, the service is running or something like that if there is no error okay and once the installation is completed then you can just go, go ahead and open localhost 9200 and localhost uh, 5600 you will see some url like this like for example in my kibana is running here so 5600 port and if i change it to 9200 i'll get the elastic search some sort of json okay that my everything is working fine okay and once this is done you have to definitely install pip install elastic search so that already discussed in the tutorial number one so let me just uh, again recommend uh, one thing for you guys if, if someone is watching this uh, video for the first time guys please go ahead and start uh, watching the playlist from the tutorial number one because in that tutorial we have explained each and everything in detail like installation configuration how to validate installation and everything okay next thing is what is index uh, not required you guys already know and next thing is how to enable minimal security so minimal security means uh, once your installation is done you can validate the installation uh, uh, like if it is working with the python or not by running this uh, uh, three lines of code here actually it is going to return uh, true you all know those are already following my channel but if you see here we are not using any credential but if you want to use any username or password then you should follow this link it will uh, tell you how to uh, uh, like create your own password and username for your elastic search access and definitely you can use it here that we'll see now okay so next thing is our actual objective that is uh, delete and delete elastic search in this in bulk using python definitely when you're talking about bulk definitely we're going to use or read from some sort of input file okay so let me tell you uh, uh, what actually we're going to delete so first thing first uh, let me just go ahead here in dev tools and let me check so if you see here i have i'm going to delete this hr employee sales then invoice finance vendor something like that okay so for that i already created an input file see employee agent venture sales invoice one two three four so i have six uh like uh index that you want to delete by reading this file so this thing one 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स दिस ओके सो दैट्स इज दैट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव सो नाउ लेट मी गो एड एंड स्टार्ट राइटिंग द कोर्स सो दिस द पासवर्ड एज यूजल आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न डाउन दिस थिंग ओवर हेयर सो लेट मी राइट फ्रॉम इलास्टिक सर्च इट विल बी इम्पोर्ट इलास्टिक सर्च ओके देन समथिंग लाइक दिस यस देन here i have to write the host okay so host is going to be in our case it will be local host okay and then port will be in our case it will be 9200 okay once this is done then probably i can write http underscore him auth and here actually i'll be going to write down the user id and password elastic is my user id and password will be this one and how i got this thing uh, i already explained this thing how you, you can get your own user id and password uh, let me again uh, brief you one more time if you i will i'll be going to uh, provide you this uh, pdf uh, sorry not pdf the powerpoint slide for the study materials kind of a thing so there is a slide enable minimal security if you open this url it is actually going to list down everything for example let me just copy and paste and let me show you guys over one more time so if you open this thing uh, so this is going to uh, like if you see there are some prerequisites some steps are already given you have to just follow those steps and you will able to get your user id and password okay so this is going to be very simple thing okay so that is why i didn't explain it over here because uh, there is no point uh, like killing the time for everyone because this is already documented from the elastic search uh, official guide so you guys should refer to this okay so our connection has been established then let me just verify this thing by print yes dot ping okay so let's execute this thing it should be python 3 then tutorial 5 dot py so i'll get a true it means everything is working fine okay just to validate if someone is watching for the first time if i uh, like make my password invalid it will return a false see and it will say that uh, uh verify the elastic or security privilege on the server so it is uh, it is unable to verify definitely the password is invalid that is why it is not able to verify okay now it will be uh, delete elas elastic search index by reading input file okay so first thing first we'll be going to read this file so we need to import something io module okay import io okay then with io dot open then i'll be going to write this thing input dot txt my file name is input dot txt that is why input dot txt then it will be uh, i'll be going to open it like let's say uh it will be open in read mode and the encoding encoding is going to be utf-8 okay and then it is going to be okay then uh, data is going to be f1 dot read okay uh i don't know then i going to f1 dot close okay then what will happen now uh, we try to print everything over here let's see whether my files are my file uh, objects are properly populated over or not so i get a true uh, no such file okay i i just did a mistake it should be input i made it a input okay so that is why i'm just getting an error so see my file are file objects are uh, properly uh, populated like whatever is the content of the files are populated properly okay so let's uh, split this thing this is a new line character like so i need every uh, row so that is why did dot split sorry data dot split and this is going to be a new line character so uh, this is something like this okay so maybe i can write print now data so now this is going to be a list and list is going to contain all this element okay see list and all elements are 
like uh, every row is kind of you know denoted by a single uh, element of the list now you have to just iterate through this thing so maybe for index in data right print index so now we can uh, print everything so i'm just doing it very slowly right the same thing but now we can iterate through this thing so what will happen now you'll be going to delete this thing so uh, a response is going to be uh, let's say uh, mm, let me think yes dot uh, indices dot uh, delete okay so we can uh, delete something like this and there probably i can write uh, index and probably um, it will be this index okay so this is going to delete now okay and maybe i can write print response okay let's sum this thing so before i do it let me see this hr employee sales invoice finance vendor all these three are available now so let me just delete run this thing c6 acknowledge means six are deleted okay so let me again run this thing see all gone hr vendor uh, sales invoice employee all are gone right so now the thing is that uh, what will happen if we again delete this thing try to delete this thing now i'm i'm trying to create a edge case like you got the input but that is already deleted or not available if i execute this thing what is going to happen now see i'm getting an error index not found error okay so uh, in that case uh, uh, you can do something uh, maybe hmm, let's say you can write try okay and you can do it over here okay and maybe and in exception you can do something except exception as e and there okay, maybe you can write print str e so first try to see what exception we are getting we should get uh, this many exception okay not found error exception so what we'd like to do here maybe um, uh, here so let's say uh, this is going to be index so maybe i can write index uh, maybe create uh, error occurred while creating wh while deleting so maybe i can write something like that deleting i can use f string that is that is absolutely fine and maybe okay so error occurred while deleting index and after that we can write something uh, deleting index and maybe i can write this and this maybe with error with exact error with exact error then okay and there probably i can do something like this so let's execute this thing let's see how it comes see the error are coming so error occur while deleting employee with exact error okay so maybe i can with deleting while deleting index this and then probably i can do something like this it means this is the index okay just to make something uh, more realistic okay this is the index name and from this thing it is going to be really useful that you guys can uh, get a uh, understanding like why it, it is it is actually not being deleted okay because this is already available sorry it is already deleted okay so i i, I tried to make the things uh, uh, like uh, more or less realistic uh, like with respect to uh, your actual use cases when you are going to uh, develop some logic or some sort of automation for your client or for your future project because 
in the in the, in the company on the, in the enterprise level uh, an execution of a job is not only going to be uh, useful you have to create something which is actually going to help some other people as well because as a developer you can develop something like suppose i am doing this thing probably i am not going to uh, uh, if if i'm the only one person in a team um, if someone is going to ask me okay do something to delete then what we'll do i can uh, skip this part because anyways i can uh, see the error in the log but in in the, in the enterprise level or in the company you are not only going to work in a team there will be multiple people some they are not uh, like familiar with the context of the programming maybe maybe more or less they are uh, not uh, confident or uh, like kind of a comfortable with the python so probably for them it will be really easy whenever they uh, receive this error okay it means this is deleted already not available so they can uh, do their fallback plan accordingly right but if you do not providing uh, if you are not providing any like exception logic then it will be definitely easy for someone who is actually new to the team or maybe some bigger audience as well and also it is also necessary so you, you should have some sort of like negative and positive test cases so that will uh, decide in the later part okay some some other python modules are available for doing some sort of testing like pytest on all but 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 uh, i'm not going to do in that detail but uh, to the minimalistic point of view i just try to keep everything simple so that you guys will be able to understand what e exactly we are trying to achieve and how we can expertise your python uh, like knowledge to this extent okay so hopefully you guys are enjoying the series i try to uh, make the things slow as you guys mentioned that i should touch base upon all the components slowly with some sort of use cases so that it should not like break the excitement and also i will provide more or less uh, 99% uh, practical approach like doing coding or something like that okay so i think i'm doing that but again uh, i need a honest feedback uh, like from you guys that whether i am keeping uh, like your guys expectation as per the demand or requirement or whether still something is missing or if you want uh, me to uh, like include something else and all as well as if you guys are having any 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 sort of use cases or something uh, like uh, some interesting thing please share with us we'll try to incorporate all these things okay and last but not least guys please do some sort of practice uh, my i mean uh, like by watching my videos you only get some sort of intuition on knowledge that how things work but if you want to do the work by your own then you have to uh, start doing practice or coding so guys after watching my videos try to do some sort of practice write your own code by your own then only will get some knowledge and probably will get to the next level okay so enough of talking guys okay that's it for today we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice weekend and happy learning